Okay, so today we're going to be adding an outlet to the ceiling of the top floor. For this we'll need a drill, some drill bits, and a stud binder. We will also need a few electrical staples, a hammer, a respirator, a roll of electrical wire, a wire cutter, some blue masking tape, a one gang after works electrical box, an electrical plug and plate, and a drywall knife. If you don't have a drywall knife, a simple serrated knife from the kitchen will work. That is, if you don't plan on using it for food anymore. The first step is to drill a hole where you want the outlet to be. Do not pick a place close to where your studs are because we are installing an afterwards box. Once you have your hole drilled, you can just feed your wire through with somebody waiting on the attic side to receive the wire. From there, you can have the person in the attic run the wire to the closest outlet provided and use the electrical staples occasionally to secure the wires to the joists. For us, this is where we are going to be tapping the wire we just ran into. You want to tap the place before the switcher outlet so it provides a steady power supply. We'll have a link in the description below to a video with more detail on this process. Now back to the normal side, we need to cut a hole in the drywall for the electrical box. For this, first we'll mark the hole to cut. We can roughly trace around the electrical box for this. So it's time to start the cutting process for this. While cutting, try to keep your knife straight and stick to your markings. It's better to cut a little less the first time and have to cut more later. Be patient with this. Then we can slide the electrical box in and screw it into place. It's time to connect up the receptacle now. This is simple. Just take the red slash hot wire, strip it, and screw it in with the gold screws. For the black or cold wire, do the same thing except with the silver screws. Finally, for the ground, screw it in with the green one. Then you can tuck the wires in and screw the receptacle into the box. And finally, you can screw in your outlet cover to give a professional look. Mm -hmm. 